Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Evalu Green here and welcome to the rare rant videos that I make. I mean rare because uh, I don't get pissed off very often and I'm not really pissed off but I want to bring a little bit more light and have a discussion with you guys about a problem that I've been encountering myself with the game and we will talk about solar rates. We'll talk about the solar rate experience overall, then we'll talk about the reward system that they have and why uh, while it could be very good, it's not good and the new artifacts and how hard it's actually to upgrade them. So, first of all, the whole concept of soul raids. Uh, first of all, I don't think it's pay to win, okay? Uh, I think it's manageable. I, I almost finished Heroic 1 with the 6 months old account, and pretty much anybody that gets a Confluent Sacrament from the uh, League Store is going to be able to do at least the very first difficulty. And it's supposed to be end game content at the very least. It has something towards new players in terms of the first difficulty, and you'll eventually still be able to finish difficulties on and on as your account progresses. I don't think the progress is too slow or that it is too hard. I don't think that. I think it's manageable. For example, a game like World of Warcraft, when they add new raids in World of Warcraft, do people complain that it's not content uh, destined for new players? No, because you kind of need to work in order to get there. And I do understand that. And uh, it's it's just some kind of end game content. And it also has a side to the new players as well to tackle with. And I do not mind that. I understand that. At the same time, I don't find it boring. I think boring. I think it's entertaining because uh, the fact that it takes uh, quite a lot of time to get from tier to tier. By the time you ma you get to the point where you repeat bosses that you previously beat, you even forget the mechanics that, that those bosses had uh, for the most part, or how you were supposed to fight them. Because it's long periods of time in between. Is this the best way to keep it entertaining and to keep diversity in it? No. But is it working? Yeah, to an extent, it's working. Uh, I still don't understand the two weeks thing, but yet again my theory is that they are testing a system where they will add more soul rates and they will switch them in between with a break, but even so, I think like a one week break, it was almost a week, I think it was five days last time, it's, it's a little bit uh, of a big break. But yeah, this is the overall soul rate experience, I don't think uh, it's boring, I don't think uh, it's too hard, and uh, it's only weird with the two uh, weeks pause uh, and... Uh, uh, the two weeks uh, on and then uh, a week pause, but yeah, nevertheless, let's get into the real problems that I have with the solar rates. So, first of all, let's talk about the rewards. For the average player, it will be like two weeks to uh, uh, finish a tier. Uh, some people might get faster through the normal, depending on how old your account is. Some people might be on tier 4, tier 5 already, but the average player is going to take uh, uh, the two weeks uh, to finish one tier, maybe two tiers in some cases. But yeah, uh, for those tiers, uh, you get only gems on normal difficulty, but honestly I couldn't care less about gems at this point since uh, most of the things that you can do with gems are luck reliant and I'm honestly tired of that. Would be good to get gems for all difficulties, but I don't really mind that that much. The, my real problem is with the artifacts and with the characters. It's very good that you get artifacts and characters, it's very bad that it's so randomized and it's so luck based. Like, I don't have that problem with normal raids, because normal raids you can repeat it on and on and on. I, I don't care if I get only Primal Swamp thing shards from raids, as long as I know that next raid I might get the chance to get shards for something that's better. That's totally fine, because that's content that you'll be able to repeat on and on and on and on. The biggest problem with uh, the soul raid experience and with the uh, characters that you get from there and the artifacts is that there's no going back. Like once you fear for uh, you finish the tier one, the hero, the tier one uh, for uh, normal raids, like the very first one, you beat uh, boss Habrik uh, Harukin for the first time, and you get the primal swamp thing. That's there forever. You are never going to get the rewards for that specific tier again. Unlike raids, in raids if you get a bad reward, no problem, you get a better one next raid, and if not, next raid. Over here, once you get a bad reward, is no turning back. You are not getting a reroll on that reward, you are not get, you're getting a chance to try and get it again and get a better one. It's going to be uh, sealed. And uh, the problem is that uh, they have a pretty huge variety of characters over there. They have characters like uh, Cyborg, that's a very good drop. They have characters like Entangling Poison Ivy, that's a very good drop. But at the same time, they have characters like Sonic Black Canary and Promo Something in the rewards. And I wouldn't mind it again if you could repeat the content on and on, but you can't. And some people get a Promo Something and they are stuck with that, and other people get an Entangling Poison Ivy. This creates a too big of a diversity in terms of rewards for the player base. Some some people get all the way uh, the luck to get on Heroic to get legendary characters. And yeah, I've seen that, it's a fact. Some people got Dark Knight Batman by finishing Heroic 1. 
And I'm happy because those people got legendary characters. I'm happy that's a possibility. But you can't say that it's fair for a player to get Primal Swamping for finishing uh, the Heroic Tier 1 and our player to get uh, goddamn uh, Arkham Knight Batman for finishing Heroic 1. And they both can't go back. The one that got legendary is going to be of course happy. The one that got Primal Swamping is not going to be happy that he didn't get the legendary as other people got. And the problem is that you can't go back. You can't. And the same thing with artifacts. The art, the, the problem is that you can get random artifacts. Some people get uh, a level 6 the old blade, some people get a level 2 amulet of tech. And uh, it's not a huge problem with normal artifacts. I'm going to say just stop crying like a... Uh, just stop crying and get them for yourself uh, from uh, raid drops. You'll eventually get them from there. But the real problem is the, with the apocalypse artifacts. Now people are getting apocalypse artifacts from the soul raids. But that's yet again a very small a very small percentage of the people. And the people that get apocalypse artifacts are very happy. The people that don't are not so happy. The people that get a level 7 entropy are going to... Uh, really enjoy the game from that point, the people that get a level 2 amulet of tech are not going to enjoy it. And yet again, you can't go back. You can't get a reroll on those rewards, and that's a very bad thing. And I understand there has to be a certain extent to RNG over there, because RNG in this situation makes it a little bit more fun, a little bit um, uh, of something to look forward to. Oh my god, what am I going to get? And I was like that at the first time when I uh, played Soul Raids. And uh, I got... My first story words was Serbs for Last of Joker and that got me excited. Oh my god, I'm going to get so many good characters. A few years later, I am in the tier 5 heroic. Last of Joker is still the best character that I got and the only worthwhile character that I got. Every single other character that I got from Soul Raids are characters that I'm never going to be using anytime soon because they are bad characters. And all the artifacts, absolutely all the artifacts that I got from the Soul Raid words were trash artifacts, were all amulets. How is this fair? How am I supposed to enjoy this? I'm not looking forward for those random rewards anymore because you put crap in there and I'm very likely to get crap. And let's say I understand you get crap on the first years, but when we, we advance to like uh, normal, okay, I got some crap. At the very least, I know that in Heroic 1, I'll get better odds to get better artifacts and better characters. Like, work on that a little bit. Don't base it all on RG. And that is my main problem with the rewards. Now, let's get into the artifacts a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong, the artifacts are great. Like, when you look at the new artifacts, uh, you see the old artifacts as kind of a beta test. Like, the, the old bits is uh, more or less the only thing that really stands out uh, in terms of the old artifacts, but they were, like, very bland. They, they, they had effects like gain attack, gain health, gain more damage. The ones that uh, they, come up, they came up with now have crazy effects compared with the old ones. And I'm very excited to, about that. And I understand the fact that they are hard to get, I totally get that. They are supposed to be, yet again, end game content. You shouldn't be able to get your hands on all the new artifacts just as they come out. I don't understand that. I myself, uh, I'm missing the Entropy and uh, the... I forgot the name again, it was that ball thing. That ball thing that reduced the defense of the enemy. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm missing those two and it's funny because those two are the uh, uh, two ones that are quite effective from level 1. And uh, I opened uh, around 80 chests, 80 artifact chests since they came out. Again, I haven't gotten any from the uh, Soul Raid drops. I have, op I have opened around 80 chests and I didn't get the artifacts that they wanted to. Again, I don't mind. It's RNG, I understand that. What I do mind is the fact that I don't have meatballs. Uh, or that uh, thing, everybody calls them meatballs. That thing that is required to upgrade your new artifacts. Like, I opened around 80 chests, I uh, got uh, all the meatballs from all the way to uh, Elite, uh, uh, to Heroic 1 Tier 5. I got a lot of them from opening chests, and I invested them all into Firebox, and now my Firebox is level 4. And keep in mind, as you level Firebox up, the cost also increases. So at this point I'm like, well, okay, how many for level 10 should I open? I opened 6 already. How many it is until I get enough materials to get to level 10? Is it... 200 more? 300 more? 400 more? How am I supposed to get the gems for that? 500 more? How many chests do I need to open in order to get the meatballs? With the old artifacts we don't have that problem because uh, you'll eventually get the materials that you desire from doing normal raids. And that's it again, a thing that you can repeat over and over again and you'll gradually get to that point. The biggest problem with meatballs is that they have no endless supply source except for chests. And chests are RNG based. A very easy way to solve this would be to just include uh, meatball drops in terms of raid drops. 
Don't include the new artifacts in terms of raid drops. I understand you want this to be a little bit of a premium content. You want this to be an end game content. You want to, you want to make some money. I understand that. I get that uh, the game needs money to function. But at the very least, considering that they are so hard to get, at the very least, give me the materials to upgrade them once I got them. Dude, 80 chests and only level 4 power box. Are you kidding me? But yeah. Anyway, those are my problems with the storage system and the, uh, actually not the system, I have problems with the rewards in terms of storage and at the same time with how hard it is to actually level up the new artifacts. And yet again, if you are a pay to play player you can uh, just ignore those things and by bypass them and th there's nothing wrong with that. I I'm speaking from a perspective of a free to play player and uh, it's, not, it's not to the point where I don't have money to invest in the game, I just think the rates are not really worth it to invest in the game. Uh, there, there are some things that uh, you might want to get uh, in terms of uh, in terms of the new country. That I like the bundle with the artifacts. Uh, that's uh, like 20 bucks and it gives you one of the apocalypse artifacts and it can give it to you very high level. Uh, that's a thing that might be worthwhile and. Uh, you got options if you're paid to play, but uh, I'm speaking over here from the perspective of a free-to-play player. So yeah, this needs fixing. This was all for this one. Hopefully you did not mind the rant, I don't do those things often, but this is something that I really thought I had to speak about. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.